Most men think you need a testosterone boosting supplement or some hack to increase your testosterone. And actually, when you don't, you just have to focus on three levers. And 99% of men have never, ever heard this before. They've never heard it explained this way. But in this video, I'm going to explain it. I'm going to tell you the problem and how to fix it as well. What we need to understand first is testosterone is at an all-time low. In history, testosterone has never, ever been this low before. You currently have the same testosterone levels as your granddad, your grandfather, and that is not normal. People conflate this, they think normal is good, normal is fine, average is fine, you've got 300 nanograms of testosterone, that's fine. No, it's making you soft, it's making you feminine, it's making life hard as a man. Testosterone drives your entire vitality as a man, your energy, your drive, the amount of muscle you can put on, how easy you find it to lose fat. And there are three functions, there's literally only three things that you can focus on, everything else is irrelevant. The first one is the signal, the second one is the function, and third is conversion. I'm going to explain each one and go through, and you can't miss any of these because they are all so important. You, you can't get the function right, but the signal's off. You can't get the conversion right, but function's off, for example. This is vital, so don't skip any of these steps. What we need to understand, the HPG axis. You've probably never heard of this before, and it's the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis. It's quite a mouthful to say, but it goes something like this. So the hypothalamus, this is all in your brain, sends... GnRH, which is gonadotropin releasing hormone, to the pituitary, which then sends LH signals, which is luteinizing hormone, to the testes, your balls, your Leydig cells. And this is the signaling process of your brain going, right, let's time to produce some testosterone, basically. It's the, the starting point in the signal. If this is off, everything downstream, it's like shutting off the switch. The signal completely turns off, nothing is going to happen. How do we fix this? Say we've got, we lack signaling and this is our problem. It's, it comes down to stress primarily and, and also testosterone runs on a pulsatile rhythm, meaning it's not, it doesn't, signal is not just constant all day. It goes in pulses throughout the day. We need to focus on sleep. I say this in every video because it, it is so important for every function in your body. Get your eight hours, consistent schedule, etc. Stress, we want to keep this low as it's going to suppress the signaling release from the brain. And circadian rhythm, we need to optimize it. This is like our body's internal clock. If this is misaligned, testosterone struggles to run on that pulsatile rhythm that I was talking about. We want to be waking up, going to bed at the same time every single night, getting light in the morning, not going on screens too late. And if we take care of this, you're most likely not going to have a signaling problem if you take this genuinely seriously. If you don't know what to do with this stuff and you actually struggle to implement it into your life, I recommend you go and download this free protocol. It's in the description. It is a seven day protocol and it practically explains how to fix your sleep, how to fix your stress so you can get high testosterone. It takes 10 seconds to download. I recommend that you go and check it out. Hundreds of guys are using it and it's pretty good considering it's free. And that is how you fix signaling problems. Number two is the function. Your testes, your Leydig cells, your balls, whatever you want to call them. Leydig cells is the physiological term. This is, you can think of it like a factory for your testosterone. This is where they're actually getting produced, where the testosterone and other steroid hormones are getting produced. Cholesterol is turned into testosterone in the Leydig cells, in the factory, your balls, whatever you want to say. But this, this gets too simplified online. Guys hear this and they go, Right, cholesterol, that means I need to eat cholesterol in food, but this isn't actually the case. And you're gonna, you've probably watched guys like me who talk about natural testosterone optimization, and they get this wrong. They say and believe that dietary cholesterol is what determines your blood cholesterol and the cholesterol your body can actually use. When it's not the case, it's usually synthesized by your own body using dietary fats primarily. And the function of your Leydig cells is going to be determined by your cholesterol availability. You want to have good LDL levels. You don't want to have really low LDL. This is going to affect your hormones. You want to make sure you're eating enough fat so your body can synthesize enough cholesterol. You can eat dietary cholesterol. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It won't cause you heart problems and it can be used in the hormonal process. I'm not saying it's a complete write-off, but the majority of it gets turned into bile for digestion and stomach acid and a lot of it just gets excreted from the body. Micronutrients, these are directly involved in the process of creating hormones, steroidogenesis. You know, for example, vitamin A, selenium, zinc, all of these are needed for the synthesis of testosterone. So if you're deficient, guess what's going to happen? You're not going to function properly. Your balls aren't going to function properly in making testosterone. That's why foods like eggs, liver, beef, they all contain all these micronutrients you need. That's why you should eat them in large amounts if you want to get high testosterone. And your metabolic health as well, like your insulin sensitivity, inflammation. These things can be fixed by sleep, stress, micronutrients, etc. 
And the third and final part of testosterone production is conversion. Because most guys don't realize that your testosterone can actually, you can make it and it can get converted into other stuff if you're not careful. I'm not saying you don't want it to convert at all because you need these things that it converts into. But the problem most guys have is they convert too much of their testosterone and they convert it into E2, which is estradiol, which is the primary form of estrogen, which is the primary female sex hormone. Should be pretty obvious, we don't want to convert the majority of our testosterone into the female sex hormone, that should be a given. And this happens primarily because guys have really high body fat percentage and they've got very estrogenic lifestyles. So what we need to understand is that fat tissue contains an enzyme called aromatase, and when we have this, we convert more testosterone into estrogen so the more fat tissue we have the more aromatase we have and that means the more conversions there's going to be into e2 how do we fix this we lose fat pretty obviously we want to get to like 10 to 15 percent body fat it's going to be the sweet spot fix inflammation this is going to be done by losing fat it's going to be done by cutting out junk food it's going to be done by going to the gym walking more getting sun and same thing for insulin sensitivity lose fat walk more, train, etc. And this is the thing, you can fix so many issues at once just by picking basic habits and sticking to them and you end up majorly improving your health. Why does this all matter? Why do I need to take care of my testosterone? Not all of us need high testosterone. Well, the truth is you don't need high testosterone. If you want to live a low effort, low energy life, then sure, go have low test, get off my channel if you, want, if you don't want high testosterone. It drives your entire vitality as a man. Testosterone is going to determine your energy, your focus, your drive, your passion and aggression for life, your passion for in relationships. Testosterone is the driver of all of this. What happens when we have low testosterone and we don't focus on any of these three pathways? we lose all of our vitality. And that is what I help guys fix on this channel. Fixing low testosterone naturally, no TRT. Learn, it takes 90 days, learn the fundamentals, learn what you need to know, learn the protocols that you need to follow, and you can have high testosterone naturally. And it's as simple as that. It's why I strongly recommend you go and download this free protocol in the description. But just to recap, we need to focus on the signal, the function, and the conversion of testosterone. And we do this by fixing the HPG axis through sleep, stress, and circadian rhythm alignment, then function with the Leydig cells. This means fixing cholesterol availability, micronutrient, and our metabolic health. And then we want to minimize the conversion of testosterone into estradiol by losing fat, fixing inflammation, insulin sensitivity, etc. So we can have the most vitality possible and live the best quality of life because this is what it's all about. But apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some value from it. Check out the protocol in the description. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.